Hello, everybody, and welcome to Battleground Games Live. Hi there, I'm Andrew, and welcome to the Loft at Battleground Games and Hobbies in Abington, Massachusetts. Andy, I hate to tell you, but we already had static. Oh, that's fine. I can take care of that. Oops. I'm going to just strangle myself with my mic cord. Give Super. Give us guys. There we go. So as I was saying, welcome to the loft at Battleground Games and Hobbies in Abington, Massachusetts. We are going to be playing a game of photosynthesis, uh, but before we get to that, we have to wait for our other compatriot to arrive. We've got a couple of minutes, and I wanted to cover some stuff that's going on for Battleground. So as you will see right underneath me here, we have a countdown to Extra Life. We're going to be doing a 25-hour Extra Life Marathon on this Twitch channel. And in addition to that, we'll have board games, card games, video games, all sorts of stuff. Hey, DG! DG Dell is on! How's it going? Um, we're going to have all those things going on on November 4th. So that's what the countdown there is. 42 days left. Uh, and we're raising money for Extra Life. Uh, in our case, uh, those donations go to Boston Children's Hospitals. So a worthy cause and a lot of fun. And I have something I want to show off. Yeah. So we got a donation uh, this week for Extra Life, which is this. You can't see it because it's very reflective. There we go. <laughs> this is, oh, I don't have that camera up. Yeah. Uh, this Ooh. is the um, yeah, hide it behind the photos limited the edition Hascon promo cards from Hascon from this past. Oh, bring it up They're here. really funny. Ooh, foil limited edition magic cards, and yes, they are really funny. Uh, when we switch and I have the document camera up, you'll be able to see them in more detail. Um, but they are things like the Sword of Dungeons and Dragons, and Grimlock, Dinobot Leader, <laughs> and Nerf War. Obviously cards that you could not play in a tournament magic setting, no. um, but that's why they're silver so bordered and one of they're them, fun to play with. One of them, the Sword of Dungeons and Dragons, is going to be released in Unstable. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so. It will be tournament legal if that tournament is an unstable tournament, which there will be events for. So, yep. yeah. So um, this is going to be a giveaway during the Extra Life campaign. Yeah. And the way that giveaway is going to work is if you make a donation, use the link below here. Uh, you'll see there's a Extra Life Child's Play button. Click on that and it'll take you to our donations page. If you make a donation of $15 or any power thereof, you get entered into a drawing for this. So if you donate $15, you get one entry. If you donate $30, you get two entries. If you donate $150, you get 10 entries, etc., etc. And at the end of the Extra Life Marathon, we're going to draw from those and also from people who have bought physical tickets here in the store and somebody is going to go home with this or it's going to get mailed to somebody who put a donation in for it so it's going to land in someone's hands donations that you make today do qualify for that so you don't have to wait until extra life to start donating you can see we've raised a whopping 50 dollars right now if you want to donate that should be a live counter and it should update throughout the uh throughout the uh broadcast and it would be awesome to raise some money for the children while we play this awesome looking game. Um, I think while we're waiting for Steve still, I'm going to switch over and we can start talking about the mechanics of the game. Sounds good. And then, oh actually, I have something I want to show you guys. Hang on, I'm switching cameras here. Still here. Oh, that was sweet. Hi guys. Pretty sweet. Yep, I still have my counter right under me. Uh, and here is the board, and here is my tray. I decided we'd keep one player tray 
on camera so you can see exactly what's going on as we play. Oh, there's Steve. I hear Steve. Hey, Steve. Hey. Perfect timing. Go ahead and, and mic yourself up and uh, we're already live, so. Yeah. While, while we wait for Steve, I'm going to show these off on here. These are those promo cards. There's the Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. There's Grimlock. Ooh. And there's Nerf hey, Roll. Cat. Hey, Cat. I assume that's Cat, because it's not uh, you. It's not me. I'm here, so... Yes. I would have to guess. <laughs> I also or want Selena. to show off a she, fortune that I Excellent typing roller. skills. Yes. She's well ahead of her, her years. I want to show off a fortune. Amanda and I had uh, <laughs> fortune cookies with our dinner this afternoon, or evening. And I got a fortune that I felt was very appropriate for our stream. I don't know if you can read it. Probably not. Can you read my fortune? I think it's washed I, out. Yeah, I can't read that. Legible. What it says is... It's a white is, piece of paper. Yes. You could just say anything right now. It says, you are in for an enlightening experience. And it's I so thought, perfect. in terms of this game, yes, <laughs> that is true. Are you mic'd up, Steve? I'm going to turn I'm you on. Up. I'm all ready to go. There, now Steve can be heard Hooray! live. Hello! So I guess now that everybody's here, let's do introductions. Uh, I've been talking for a while. I'm Andrew. Hi, guys. And here's Steve. I'm Steven. Yay. Hey, I'm Travis. I'm Amanda. Hello. I am also your chat mod. Yep, and we know that Kat and DG Dell know who these people are because <laughs> they've watched before. Uh, but maybe we've got some lurkers, and maybe we've got people watching on YouTube because we do archive this later on. Hello, future viewers. Yes, I'm sorry that you can't Don't participate in the chat. Don't drink the water. Oh wait, I, water? Okay. <laughs> and now you'll know why. <laughs> as as all three of us drink, that's very <laughs> subliminal. Yeah, that was, that was good We're easy to influence. All right. So let's talk a little bit about what this game is. Travis pointed out this is the opposite of what we did last week. Yeah. We burned yeah. down the forest, now we're repopulating it. Yes, so we'll just continue the game we played last week, well, except is, in opposite. This is like the prequel to it, because this was... This no, is, I, I mean, all we, the mast has been burned away, wait, and now new trees are growing. we didn't burn down the forest. No, we were trying, we were trying to not burn to burn down the forest. We failed to not burn down the forest, <laughs> we'll put it I, that I think way. the important thing is, is we didn't start the fire. No, it was always, it was burning. always burning. Since the world's been turning. Yeah. Gigi Dell, finish it up. <laughs> hey, Patrick! Hi, Patrick! Um, so, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to grow trees by putting them out on the board here. We earn sun points on our cards here as the sun shines on our trees. But, and there's a lot of mechanics to this, yeah. the sun is not going to stay at one angle. The sun actually moves around the board as we play, and as it moves, light falls in different ways, and trees can be in the shadows of other trees, which prevents them from gaining light, and light is the resource that we use to grow more trees and stuff. So, I think it's going to quickly become apparent how it works. Uh, youngest player goes first. I'm not youngest. No. I think it might be me. I'm... I'm under 30. <laughs> For 28. Well, there you go. You, be, you beat me by one year. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Okay, Travis, you've got See, I thought, I thought maybe it would be different than Dice Forge, but uh, no, no such luck. <laughs> All right. So, um, so I believe our, um, our initial setup involved us going around and placing our initial small trees. Yeah. Right, we each get to place so two small trees before the first light falls. Think. I'm gonna check this. See, yeah. I mean Amanda, every, yeah. the controller of the the rules, because she is a very fast reader. So, just for a quick explanation of how our boards are set up, you can oh, see okay. we have a board. Yep. If you and look at Andy's, my board you can here. see that he has a whole bunch of trees and seeds, and the little tracker for his light. Yeah, this is um, my light tracker. It starts at zero. He also has some and trees and seeds that are not on his board. Light. The ones that are not on the board are what are available for us to start with. Yeah. So we start out with 
Hello. Hey there. Hello. Um, they're what we have available to start with. Everything on the board costs us light to purchase off of the board to be able to place out on this board. So at the moment we have these available to us without having to pay anything to take anything off of here mm -hmm. to put out there. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be pulling from here first because none of us have any light to spend. Um, so yeah, you go first. You We're not your moving the sun yet. Available, not on your mm -hmm. board. Um, so you're going to be. You're going to be placing a tree. The initial steps, I believe, was a small tree on the outskirts of yeah. the forest. Yes, it has Somewhere to go on the a outer one, edge. Yeah, a one, a one leaf. leaf. So and you those can see there's one leaf spaces, two leaf spaces three leaf spaces and the four leaf space. They they represent the richness of the soil yes. that they're on and that determines where we're buying these from. These are the um, victory points. sort of victory, victory points. points indeed. And how many points you get are determined by how fast you buy them and what tree you're sort of handing in to take them. Yeah, I should mention when we played on Earth, I misread the directions before we got to the scoring phase, and as a result, Amanda's strategy was not exactly what she wanted because Up to she four, was. Patrick. She didn't know that. Yeah. The, the way the scoring was going to work. So this time, we we know how scoring works. Yeah. At the end of the <laughs> game, you get one point for every three sun that you have. Mm -hmm easy to track because they're in rows of three so if you are above this you get one point above this you get two points etc etc um and you get whatever points you've bought by mulching your trees uh, when your tree reaches its highest stage then you can chop it down and you get victory points based on where it was planted and how early you bought it. So like if you've ever played lanterns, uh, the points decrease if you're not fast enough in grabbing them. Yeah. Um, and I think there's a similarity to uh, Splendor as well for that as well, because you're yeah. trying to buy your victory points by sort of um, leveling up what you've got. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, we don't really, there's no photosynthesis phase for turn one because the photosynthesis phase is where you like look at where the sun is mm -hmm. and determine light points. So obviously we don't have any trees out on the board yet. So we're gonna move straight to the life cycle phase, um, which is... Well, we're still no. in the, we still have yeah. to set up the... the setup. Yeah, the setup. oh, we're still in setup? Yep. See, you shouldn't have given me this. I thought you had read them already. I, I skimmed them. Okay. <laughs> I was in the middle of other things at the time as well. So, <coughs> Let's, so, so yes, uh, I was, during I was the setup, pulling magic cards we for take you. turns placing... Okay, you place one of your available small trees on the external edge. Okay. And then we place a second one. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the one question I had is, as player one in setup, mm -hmm. uh, does it go... Clockwise, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or is it like a, or is it like a snake? No, it's, I think it's just clockwise. It's, it's just clockwise. Okay. And then um, after turn one, you hand the first player token yeah. to the next person, and yeah. then the next round. So he's gonna is place one tree, then we're all gonna place one, then he's gonna place a second. So it's yep. not Catan yep. style where you'll yep. place two in a row. No. Right. Yeah, Catan was immediately a thing that came to yeah. mind. But, yeah, that's um, what I was thinking too. All right, so uh, I guess I'll place my first one right there. Okay, strategy already coming into yeah. effect. So now I'm going to take three hours to figure out where I'm going <laughs> to place mine. The best possible Three placement. hours later, for those of you watching at home, I placed <laughs> it over here. For three hours. Well, we, three the hours magic later. of okay. television. So here. I'm, I'm asleep. <laughs> uh -huh. Everybody just moved I'm really fast. Uh, <laughs> place my first tree here. Okay, that's a bold strategy. Let's see how it pays off for him. Bold move, bold move. Bold move, Cotton. Well, it's I'm conveniently going close to, to me. Put mine right there. That's there. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So second tree also yep. being set up. Uh, I am going to go 
right here. Ah, okay. Yes. Are you sure? No, but that's that's, that's what I'm what doing. You're doing. Okay, good. I'm gonna go back here as far away from myself as possible. That's uh, that's Douglas the fur. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not excuse me. She's got the furs. And this is something I've been I've preparing about tree puns we all day. I don't care what kind of trees that we got. Uh, and Patrick, you would appreciate this. Okay, so I'm uh, I'm we Gary We have Oak. different <laughs> colored trees. You'll notice that my trees are green. Uh, Amanda's playing with blue trees. Travis has the yellow trees, and Steve has the orange trees. But they're also different shapes. So yeah, they're different types of tree. If you have difficulty with color, you can still identify whose trees are which by the shape of the tree. And even the seed tokens look different. Like I have yeah. little pine cones. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good Patrick question, Michael, Patrick. Um, the the box itself uh, has enough space in it to where once you assemble these once. You can put them away like yeah. that. Uh, you don't need to set them up each time. Yeah. Yeah. It's um. It comes. We can put that. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, it comes with those little dividers. Yep. All uh, flattened, and then you pop them out so that they're and then little. Like, four little compartments. Little wells. That you can fill so that each of the pockets holds trees. The, the only thing, thing it didn't yeah. come with um, that I'm not, and the little wells they have a little lip to it to set the board and your little player boards in. Um, the only thing that it didn't come with was a baggie to hold all of these. Yeah. And there's no real compartment for like holding them. So what I figured out was that the yellow, the orange, and the green trees are all a little more on the rounded side all the way across, whereas mm. the blue trees are a little thinner, a little more tapered. So. Just, we got a baggie, I, um, we stole a baggie from the store. Yeah, we stole a baggie from the store, and I, I figured out that if you nest these a little tighter than the other ones, you can uh, put these in underneath the blue trees, the, the firs, mm -hmm. yeah. um, and they fit just fine. And just as a, for those of you who may be board game enthusiasts, on uh, on Amazon they have like the small like baggies that you can get for any game. You mm -hmm. can get like yeah. a thousand of them for less than five dollars. <laughs> uh, so yes, I Yes, board game enthusiasts. For those need of you who like like me, like your games to be very neat and controlled, I definitely mm -hmm. take my games and whatever the packaging is, I make it my own so because I you like customize it. I to customize do it to my own. It's it not, I'm not to the point of full inserts yet, but uh I'm sure I'll get there. <laughs> I'm sorry yeah, the, to hear, Patrick, that colts are tough for you as well as colors. <laughs> the uh, <laughs> the shapes really are helpful, and the artwork on the boards all reflect the shapes of the trees that they're for. Um, like I said, even the seeds have different pictures on it's them. It's not just color. It's gorgeously, gorgeously um, illustrated, yeah. And mm. the trees themselves were fairly easy to put together, and the other thing I really like about putting them together, I'll actually take one apart so we can show it off, is that while it's a straight line on the bottom, on the base, you can show off the Ooh. top, they're actually crooked. The, um, the slot that you're putting them into is bent a little bit, yeah. and that wedges that it, in, it place in place nicely yeah. without really destroying or altering the tree itself. It just holds it nicely in place, and that is on every single one of them, the slot from the top mm -hmm. is yeah. crooked like that. Um, so they do hold it's together. They're you pretty sturdy. Yeah, I, I think I got a... Yeah, they I, have little squirrels. I got There's a squirrel a in mine. Yeah. Yeah. I have a little fox at the base of mine. Could be Larry Bird yeah, then. There we go. I'll sit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah the artwork is gorgeous. Amanda, so, you have to play your last tree. I have your to your place a, a, a small tree. I am going to put it um, next to the orange one down right here. Right there? Yep. Ah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we move to the sunshine piece. So, yes, now we are on to first. So first now the first thing we're going to do is the photosynthesis phase. The player with the first player token moves the sun segment clockwise well, first turn. Except we on don't the first move turn. it. Yep. Um, and light points are then counted based on the yeah. new position of the sun. So as you can see, the sun is in that corner of the board with arrows pointing in the direction that uh, points are going to get calculated. Yep. And trees cast shadows. We were really, really hoping that um, yeah, if we you want could... to pass me the flashlight, I can yeah. sort of show you. <laughs> we were hoping that we were able would be able to use a, an actual light 
I thought it would look cool for the stream if I could put a light here, but it just washes the board right yeah. out. Yeah, and see the it shadows all. that it's creating aren't actually indicative of the shadows yeah. that the trees create. Yep, yeah. yeah. the planet that this force exists on uh, shines degrees uh, at, at 90 degrees. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's quite amazing. And uh, It's always sunrise during the God, I know, Patrick. Uh, the, the broken token things are really gorgeous. I, there are a couple of games that I think that they are probably worth it on, Firefly being the first one that comes to mind. I, uh, so I actually have pieces. found a couple of other of other sites that do inserts as well. The one that lately I've been looking at is a site called insertgear.me, okay. and it's made by one of the guys who is on the Dice Tower, and they're, I think they're more foam core, so I actually just ordered one for uh, both Scoville and Near and Far. Uh, so nice. once I get those in, I'll report back and say what they look like, but yeah. they're... You know, the broken token ones are whatever, like 60 bucks. The insert gorgeous, here ones were about 30 to 40, which is, you know, it's still more than the cost of some yeah. games. But again, I'm one of those guys that I like to really get it yeah. nicely. And I'm only doing it for the ones that I really care about. I mentioned so. the Firefly one specifically because I've seen it in person. Mm -hmm. And Firefly, the Firefly game has so many bits and pieces. And not only is the, the Broken Token one nice for keeping things organized in the box, but it's also really good for keeping them organized while you're playing, yep. is that it comes out very nicely to sort yeah. of lay out to make there things will. easy to play. I've seen the same thing play. with Dead of Winter as yeah. well. Yeah. That, that um, insert's really nice from Broken Token. Yeah, this game I don't think is, is no, needs that level as. of Shall we move stuff, to yeah. photosynthesis? So we've yes. moved to photosynthesis phase, which means that we're going to look at where the sun is hitting. Yeah. A small tree gets one point. A tree standing in the shadow of another tree will earn points if it's taller than the shadow casting tree. Right. So um, none of our trees are in a shadow at this moment. No, because so. each one is far enough away because a small tree casts a shadow on the space directly behind it in relation to the sun. Basically, I have to figure that the sun is like here. Yeah. yeah. And so it's casting that way. Right. So right now, none of our trees, like no one placed, I may move, like if that was there, this tree wouldn't be getting a point because it would be behind, be behind that one. Yeah. So none of us We're going to see that next turn, that. I think. Yeah, it's going to happen. Unless Amanda doesn't grow both her trees. So now, so each of us gets two points. I mean, we yep. could go like tree by tree. Yeah, and figure and it out. But I think for do that we'll later. do that later as we go. Right now, we know as a none of our trees are shadowed. Turn, yeah. Small trees get one point each. Mm -hmm. So we're each going to move our our light marker up to two. Yes. Um, larger trees get more points. Yep. Um, and then now that we've taken all of our light points. The round continues clockwise with whoever is in possession of the first player token. And your possible actions, Travis, are buying. You can use your light points to purchase seeds or trees of any size from your board. Um, the numbers next to them correspond to how many light points they, right. uh, so they cost. You can see on my board here, there's seeds cost two. This tree here costs two. But as you get more trees, they get more expensive. This one costs three. Um, You're going from bottom to top? Yes. Yep. Okay. The two seeds, the two small trees, and the medium tree left in the available area are available to plant without buying in future rounds. Any other seeds and trees a player wishes to use must be bought and then placed over in the available area. Right. Um, so you can buy a tree or a seed off of here. You can plant a seed which you can do around one or more of your trees on the board. Um, and that, how far away you can do that depends on the size of the tree. So since we only have That's small trees, this you can illustration only go here at the bottom one space of my away. Card. But if you so have larger trees, they get to spread out further. costs one to plant the a seed. The next apple to does it. fall this can further fall a little from bit further from <laughs> medium <laughs> tree and a very as long tall as the tree, tree is can old. go out three. Makes sense? <laughs> Cat says, time stories does a nice insert when it's not broken. <laughs> I, I, I think broken. that was a construct of us receiving it from Amazon. We got, uh, got three around. separate iterations where the corner of it just got crushed. It was that's annoying. A little unfortunate. Um, and that's why you buy your games at your friendly local game store instead. Yeah. Yeah, they care. So 
we debated this before we started playing because the instructions are not super clear about yeah. uh, how many actions you can take. It says, so you it says take as many any as you number. Want, but you cannot use more one tree more than once. That's, that's so the impression. So you can grow a tree yeah. or plant a seed from a tree uh, or harvest both. a tree, which we'll get to much later. Mm. Yeah. But you can't do both. Correct. Yeah, you, you can't plant a seed after you've grown a tree. Uh, yeah, you can't plant a seed from the same tree that you've already grown. Correct. Right. You basically yeah. can't use the same space more than once. The yeah. tree I is, my, is used I did up my watch it play before. It's okay. action. Yeah. Yeah. Just, um, I had everything after the setup. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so you can plant a seed or you can grow a tree. So I'm going to spend one to plant the seed. I'm going to okay. plant off of this space right here. I'm going to... Put a uh, put an acorn right there. Okay. Sounds good. And I'm also going to purchase from my tree market here. I'm going to purchase another acorn to clear out that space. Nice. So that clears out my sun points. I am back to zero. Okay. And I uh, yield my time. Okay. So just based on what we were saying, if I plant the seed, that's the action from this tree, or right. like from right. this tree. So I could then grow this seed if I wanted. I think you have you can't to grow, grow a seed that's just been dropped. Yeah, I think I so. To yeah. Get. Um, it doesn't really specify that. Hold on. Plant a seed on one or more, more of their tree trees. Planting a seed originates from one space. Yes, you cannot grow a tree from one size to the next and then plant a seed using that same tree. I, I would so say, yeah, no, I'm looking so I'm you're growing. trying to grow off I'm of... I'm trying to grow the seed. Yeah. Because growing the seed is... Is one point, or is it two points? It's one. It's one to, to go, go from seed, seed to, to small tree. tree. Okay. It doesn't really say, unless I'm misreading. It says a seed or tree can be replaced only by a tree that is the next size up. It costs light points to grow from a seed to a small tree. Um, to grow a seed or tree on the board, players can only take a new tree from the available area. Trees and seeds that are replaced from the main board are then placed back on the player boards on the topmost available space. Can I check something in the instructions? I don't see something so about... So right up at the top of possible actions... Okay. Uh, cannot carry about more than one action on the same space on the main board. So that I'm says to me that if, if you, you plant, put that's down. putting something on a space. You can't use that space again, which means you can't grow a seed. But you can't use that seed. tree either. Right. Okay, so planting a seed basically exhausts that tree and that that's seed. That's my is interpretation. That it's okay. yeah. by then space, not that by is, tree. That is important yeah. because I'm going to spend two light to grow this tree. Um, yes, perfect. And then this gets put on the topmost section, but you don't have a section to put it, so, so it, it is it, exiled yeah, it goes for away. the entirety of yeah. the game. We'll put it back in the box. I can take it. Douglas. I have the box. Douglas the fur! Alright, my turn. Um, I think that'll be okay. It's, it's banished. <laughs> banished. To the it's Shadow Realm. For apparently <laughs> not being a fur tree. Hmm. Shadow Realm? Nothing? Okay. I got it. <laughs> I get so it, I'm going to pay one to plant a seed as well. And I'm going to plant a seed here from that tree. And then I will pay one to plant another seed and plant a seed here from that tree. Amanda. Okay. I've paid two, so I'm down to zero. All right, I'm thinking. I am going to pay one to plant a seed. I can help you out here. Thank you. I'm going to plant a seed. Um, yeah, right there. Ah, Thank mm, you. And out of rim. Um, and then I am going to um, pay one light to take a seed off of my board. Okay. All right. Now we've all done we've all, all our photosynthesis all stuff. So, so the yep. first, player first player token moves. goes. And the sun moves. Ooh. Over to here. And we go back to photosynthesis. Yep. So now we're going to want to go sort of looking yeah. in order. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, do you want? Where do you want to start? Just. Well, you want to start with first player, and then. Oh sure. Yeah. Okay. So we'll look at each of your trees. So I've got, um, I've got this guy, which would get me two, because he's taller than this yes. tree. Right. So, so it is in the shadow of this, but it's tall enough. That, that you get full points from it, yeah. So, so you I'm going to get two, two light here, and then yeah. this one's in no one shadow, so I'm going to get one light there for a total of three. Very yep. nice. Okay. And then I have this tree, which is in nobody's shadow, and that tree, which is in nobody's shadow. So I get two. Amanda. I no. have no shadow there. Yep. So, and no shadow there, so I get two. Yes. Travis. I have no shadow here, and I do have shadow here, so I only get one point this turn. Okay. That's okay. We understand now the mechanics of the game. <laughs> and now we're back to buying stuff. Excellent. So... For having talked through it, it becomes much faster than we really get yeah. how the game works. <laughs> it's just the strategy. Uh, understand it here, the medium-sized trees can make their seeds go further. Yes. So I can actually go two spaces away from... Now is this... For example, could I go, does it be, it's the other rules line. specified, so I have to go to here, I can yeah. go like this? Yeah, I think okay. so. Just wanted to make sure I understood that. So yeah, I'm I mean, it, the, the illustrations do imply straight line. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to spend one to plant a seed here, mm. and then I'm going to spend another one to plant a seed here. How? You, this so tree can't only the second seed. Yep. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That tree can't go that far. Yep. Okay. So we'll plant it there. Okay. You still have one sun left. And... Bank it. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bank it. Seems okay. like a good idea. Bankable. Because, yeah, you don't have bank. enough to, to make have, a medium tree. Nope, but I would have enough to buy it, and I don't have any medium trees at the ready. Yeah. All right, so I am going to uh, land this poorly, I think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. For some reason, I thought I was green, even though I'm looking at a bunch of orange pieces. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I have not done this well. It's okay. That's okay. right, it's just trees, I mean, it's just yeah. trees. I'm going to spend one. Nothing to bark about. <laughs> I got it, yeah. I'm going to buy a, a seed, and I'm going to plant a seed here. So that's two. Amanda. All right. So I am going to... So, chat, what I realized was if I grow this here, it's going to be in the shadow of this tree when the sun the moves. Turn. So there was no point in growing it because it's not going to get me any points. So I'm going to grow my seed that is right there. This one? Okay. Into a small tree. Okay. You have no spaces left on... Or yeah, no, you did I buy do. a seed. I you bought a seed. a seed. I was thinking. Yep. You are ahead of the game. So okay. my seed goes back on my board over here. Yep. So now I have two small trees there. And I am now going to... Uh, I'm just looking at what my, my options. I'm going to plant a seed right there. Okay. And that cost me both of my life. Okay. Travis has only one light. I do, so. and I am going to use it to turn my seed into a tree. That's, that's going to be it. Lovely. Okay. And then everybody has moved. Mm -hmm. Yep. The first player becomes me, and the sun rotates to here. And we do photosynthesis. We'll start with me. Yep. So I get one point from that. It's got no shadow. This is yep, not in shadow. Line, so, so yep, I get two two sun points. Amanda. I get one there. Yep. One there. And one there. I get three points. Yes. 
I, I uh, so I have one here yep. and one here, and I I kind of boxed China. myself in. I yeah. committed a little bit of light treason against myself. Oh, no. You planned that all along. Uh, I've been sitting on that. I dog you. <laughs> Uh, I'm so not supposed to laugh at my own jokes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you're about to Two get, points. You're about to get, you know, really mad. Because <laughs> I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about tree right puns all day. All right. All right. And then Steve. So it's I okay. get it's two okay. for my, uh, yeah. my beautiful tree all here. Two. And I get one for my beautiful tree here. For a total of three, uh, which puts added to my to one puts me up to four. Yeah. For those of you keeping score at home. All right. Now I can do something with my two light. So... Yeah. Hmm. I am going to spend one yeah, to grow this tree like y'all. Mm -hmm. two, two points. Two points? Small to, to medium. Yep, small, small to medium oh, is two Oh, you're correct. Points. You're quite correct. So I spend two to do that. And he's exiling a small tree. And uh, that is gets, being exiled. That's gone. Yeah. Sorry, tree. Into the box. Into the box with you, Amanda. Um. Okay. So. I'm gonna rotate this a bit here so I can see it. Better. Sure. Can um. For just so that I know, because I can't really see that side. Where's the sun going to go next? Here. To that corner. Yep. Here. Pointing that. Okay. This way, towards you, basically directly. Okay. Thank um, you. I am going to grow. I'm going to spend two light points. To grow the one closer to you, Andy, to a medium. Okay. And that's bad for me. Yep. And it starts out, yep. Right into the chipper. Yep. Damn you, Sawyer. And I'm gonna I'm gonna Sawyer, Sawyer would be really good here. Um I'm gonna bank my one point for next time. Okay. Uh, all right. It seems the cool thing to do is to uh, exile our tiny trees. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so I guess I'm gonna follow suit here. I'm gonna spend my two points to turn this small tree into a smart, less yeah. small tree. Lovely. And that will be my turn. Okay. I'm gonna spend one to purchase a seed from my supply. Yeah. Then I'm gonna spend another one to grow a tree here. Yeah, yeah. A small yep. tree. You did that absolutely perfectly. The seed goes right back into your supply. Because yeah, I'm realizing that order of operations is in fact important. Yep. Uh, and then I'm going to. Our math teachers tried to teach us. <laughs> they warned us. Please excuse my dear Sally. Trying to figure out my name. What, what's going to happen to me next turn? <laughs> And I'm gonna actually bank the rest. Okay. I'm gonna actually bank my two. You got two banked. Yeah. There. All right. And Amanda, you are now first player. Keeper oh, of the okay. tree. And the sun rotates to here. Yep. All right, photosynthesis time. Yeah. So I get two points here, one point there, yep. and zero points there. So Correct. I'm up to four points because I had one bank. Yep. All right. So I have a uh, one point here, two points here, zero points here, uh, because the medium right, tree, a medium tree now casts, casts a casts longer a shadow. Longer. shadow. Yeah. So, uh, so that's three points total, which will bring you up to three. Lovely. Okay, I've got two points here and one point for each of these small for yep. four additional, which and brings me up six. to six. Yep. And I get no points for this because Amanda grew a tree too tall next to me, so I get one point. One. Okay. All right. All right. So what I am realizing looking at what I have available to me is that I'm going to have to spend some of my points to buy some things off my board because I don't have very much left available to the side here. Um, but fortunately, I've got four points to play around with, which means I can spend two of them to purchase a small tree off the board. 
Um, and I'm gonna spend one point. Yep, one point to grow my seed over there into the small tree I just purchased. And that seed gets exiled. That seed gets yeah. exiled. That's okay. Okay. All right. I believe Travis is next. He is now Travis. Unless you're, are you going to use your other point? I'm going to bank that point. Okay. Okay, so uh, I am going to spend uh, one point. Because I've also realized so I'm getting the no seed points next turn. In what just seems yeah. like a very oh, coveted space. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Smack dab in the middle. Yep. Uh, there, there we go. It's. Uh, I'm gonna get bullied it's there. I now. feel like. Yeah. That 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 tree is never seeing the light of the day. Big target on yourself. Yeah. 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 A little bit. So, um, so with that being done, I am going to use the other two points here. Um, uh, no, I'm not gonna use the other two points. I'm gonna bank those because. Mm. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to spend one point to take a seed from my supply. Then I'm gonna spend three points to grab a medium tree from my supply. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna spend one more point to drop a small tree to grow this space. Yeah. And then I'm gonna save my remainder. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna save my remainder at this time. All right, so I have one sun point that I can use. Um, Do you have any seeds in your supply? No, I could buy a seed from my supply. Well, I was I saying could you could a drop a tree. seed or you could grow a small tree. Um, I feel like growing is needed at this point. I need more. So I'm going to grow a tree here. The seed goes back in my supply. And that cost me all the points I had, so Amanda. <laughs> um, so it is now yep. Travis's so now turn. The sun is going to move. Sorry about that. And see, yep. I saved one point because I knew this turn I was getting no points. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. All of my trees are in shadow. Wow. Yeah. That's harsh. Yeah. So I have one, two, three, four points this turn. So it'll bring me six. up to six. Yes. I have the same. I have two, three. This tree is in shadow, but this tree is not. So that's a total of four plus my one, which brings me to five. Right. I get two, three, four. Plus my none brings me to four. <laughs> uh, so Travis, grow pace. Yes. All right. So uh, I am going to use three points to purchase a medium tree from my supply. Mm -hmm. I am then going to use two points to, um, yeah, I'm gonna use two points to purchase another small tree from my supply. Uh, and I'm going to, I guess, why not use one point to purchase another seed from my supply. Okay. Kind of clear out that base row. Yep, getting uh, prepped. Yep. All right. Let's How much see. does this big tree cost? It's four, four to buy that from your supply. And then another three to grow it. Okay. So I am going to spend... Yeah. So I'm going to spend two points here to buy a small tree from my supply. I'm going to spend an additional two to grow this small tree into a medium tree. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend my last point here to plant a seed from here to... You just grew this tree, right? So you can't yep. plant a seed from it. But I can plant a seed here. Yep. Okay. I'm actually going to go here instead. Sure. Do it. All right, my turn. Yep. Yeah, just get, get in right close to Travis's. Points. I'm just going to surround you with the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> I'm going to spend three points down to one. I'm just taking root in the middle of the board. Tree. And then looking at where the sun is going to be. You can just leave that middle alone. 
to spend. Uh -huh. One point to grow this seed into a small tree. And this goes away because I don't have any space for seeds. Amanda. All right. So I have one point. Um, and I'm going to use it to uh, buy a seed off my board. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, I have to do that. So the sun is going to rotate. Alright, so I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six points. Yep. Yeah. You're getting. Uh, I'm getting one, two, three, four, nothing from that. Yep. So I get four. I'm getting one point. No, two. Is no, this two. I, me I missed the small one. Oh, okay. Is this yeah. one in the shadow of this one? Yes, it is. Okay, even though it's a two tree, it's because it's it's it's, it's in, in, the, the, in shadow. the shadow of a two. If it was if it was the biggest tree, I'd get points. If it was taller than that, yeah. I'd get points for it. But it's not, so I don't. Okay. So I get two. So points. you get two points. So I'm up to two. Travis. Um, All right. So I have a one, two, yeah. three, four points. Yeah. I think that's one of the most difficult parts here is figuring out where the sun is going to go next. <laughs> You're actually planning? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, because I know that I think the sun is going yeah. where I think it's going to go. I'm going to get two less points next turn because it's going to be facing this direction so this tree won't get me any points. Unless you grow it. Unless I grow it. Which but would I don't cost have, a lot. Which would can't. cost... Uh, I can't right now. It costs Close. seven and you have six. I have six. But... What I can do is I can spend one to buy a seed from my supply. Then I can spend one more to grow this tree. Return the seed to my supply. And then, yeah, I'm gonna spend three to bring a medium tree from my supply and an extra one to plant a seed. This one, I grew this one, so any of these are viable. I think I'm gonna go here. Okay. With that. All right. Now pretty good I am gonna spend two to buy a small tree off my board and then I'm going to spend two to grow a small tree into a medium tree. And this goes back on the board where the one I just bought came from. Amanda. Okay. So I'd like to point out that Cat complained that Travis was punny. Well, that's no. not a complaint, that's just a comment. Yeah, okay. it's it's part of I mean, my charming wit. It's the reason she married me, yeah. really. <laughs> now, I don't know if she's tied up with Selena to actually debate that fact, so <laughs> let the record stand. It's, it was my personality that really won her over. <laughs> I thought I had fewer points than I have. I have two points, right? You do have Correct. two points okay, from, good. from last turn. I looked at it and I was like, wait, I, um, I didn't get many points. You have two points, points from this photosynthesis right. here. And I was at. You were at zero. So. <laughs> you were at zero. <laughs> yes, that's okay, right. Okay, so you I have two a points. Last turn. Um, so I am going to. I'm thinking. Yeah. See, her silence means she's in full agreement with me. Uh huh. I'm sure that's. Exactly oh, she right. she oh. responded. Now she said it wasn't a complaint. <laughs> so that does. Not a complaint. There you go. That that confirms it. That confirms. Um, I'm going to grow 
This one that's on the little gap? Yeah. Or no, I can't. I can't. Yeah. I don't have a, a tree to grow it into. Um, I'm oh, going clever. to place a seed, I guess. Drop the seed. Now, here's a question. Yes. Well, can I place a seed past oh. someone else's tree? How do you mean? Oh, oh, this I one? I have a tree here and two Over spaces me away. To yeah. Here? I see no reason why not. I don't think it's because it's two crazy spaces. Things. Yeah, yeah, so I would All like right. to place that. That is one point, and I will bank the Oops. other. Yeah, look at planting, but I I, think I don't it's think just, it, it doesn't, doesn't say, say anything about not planting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't think tree. that other trees impede movement. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't say so. Like the you have a little fox at the base of your tree, so the fox grabbed that pine cone and carried it over here and dropped it. I mean, there was a whole thing about birds and bees mm. that we could get Gra into now. Grabbed it. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Family friendly show. <laughs> it just went Everybody on the back. Poop, Sandy. Okay. It's the title of a children's book. I believe you. <laughs> uh, are you going to bank your other point? I am banking my other point, okay. yes. All right, so uh, I'm going to spend one point to turn that center acorn into the mighty center <laughs> oak. Yep. It's secretly Travis on his phone. He hasn't been looking down a lot. <laughs> Um, I am then also going to spend uh, two points to turn this tree okay, into a bigger tree. bigger tree. Yep. Yep. And then also I am going to spend. Yes, thank you, thank you. Don't sorry. Don't lose that. <laughs> uh, I'm then also just going to spend one last point to uh, spread. Uh, my you can't my spread from here spread or your here. Cheer. Yep, so uh, right. it's going to yeah, be I wasn't here. Sure what adjective you're going to use there? Yeah, uh, or what noun? Okay. Uh, <laughs> my my acorns, uh, my mighty acorn is in the uh, is there now. Okay, so <laughs> <it's> lovely. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I will pass for the player. Thank you very much. And I can move the sun here. All right. Now I would have gotten some <coughs> points from this tree, but now I don't. But I get one here, and I get two here. Yep. So I get three. And I get two points over here, and a point here. So I get a total of three, bringing me to four. Oh, that was completion of First Revolution, right? Oh, oh yeah, yes, I'm sorry, quite right. First Revolution is over. Thank you for reminding us. Yes. The board has, and it's very, very subtle, it has a little sunspot here. So when it gets back to the sunspot, that's the end of a revolution. When we complete the third revolution, that's the end of the game, and we count points. Sorry, Amanda, you spent one? I got four oh, points. You got I got four, three points. You got three. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna get two, three, four, five points here. Okay. Now spending. I've got three oh, to spend. Two, huh? three, not that one. Huh? Ah, uh, yes. The sun is going away. this way. Yeah, but oh, it's two you're right. You're right. This Sorry about tree that. is shading this one. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so I'm sorry. I I still have three points. With which to do what? Um, I'll spend. Spend two? No. What? Yeah, I'm going to spend two down to one to buy this tree and one more to buy a seed. Amanda. Okay. So I'm going to spend three of my points to buy a medium tree off my board and bank my other point. Okay. All right, uh, I am going to spend. I'm going to spend two points to get a small tree for my supply. 
I'm going to spend one point to grow my uh, my acorn here into a small tree. The acorn gets exiled. Yep. Oh crap! I should have done something. And then I am going to I am going to spend my remaining three points to purchase another medium tree from my supply. Mm. Yes, this is what we talked about where the trees get more expensive. So if you were to try and buy another medium tree, it would cost four. But we're good. We're good. <coughs> this is where it gets into what am I going to get for light points? <laughs> next turn Not is much. very, very blocked. Yeah. You have a medium tree available. I do have a medium tree available. So that's, I think I'm going to spend two of my light points to get a small tree. And then two of them to replace mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. guy with a medium tree. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now the sun and moves. that is, yep, Amanda gets the first player token. All right. Sun moves, and we get some sun points. So I realized I made a misplay. I, I forgot I had a seed out there because I couldn't see it oh. very easily. <laughs> and I should have used my last point to uh, grow it into a tree because I would have gotten up. You want to from retroactively? I, I don't like doing that sort of retroactive oh. stuff. Okay. I just, I didn't. I was sitting in a way I didn't yeah. really see it there, so I didn't. Well, you can do it this time. Twig to me that well, it's that I would have gotten a point off of it. Yeah, you would have. And I I need the points because I am low on points because I went like a whole round with getting no points. So yeah. But you do get one, two, three points. Yeah, I get three points, which puts me at four. It just would have been nice to have that one extra. That extra, <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you wouldn't have had an extra. You'd have had, had an extra tree. I would have gotten a point off but that. But it would have cost spent you a point to get it. That's true. So, anyways, but Travis, it still would have been nice. Yeah, to it would have been nice. Actually, it's been worth a couple. Happens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow. What? Uh, this Wait. one doesn't give you a point. Yeah, that's six. Give you a point. Yeah, this one doesn't <laughs> give you a point. <laughs> that one does. Yeah. Oh, the sun is this way. Yeah, it's two spaces. So yes, you're you're absolutely right. This one doesn't score though. Four, five, six. Okay. All right, I'm going to get one, two, three, four. Yes. And I'm going to get one, two, three, none, four. That's me at four. <laughs> Correct? Yes. All right, Amanda, you're first player. So here's the thing. That having that tree this turn would have been the only turn it would give me points. Next turn, it would have given you points yeah. too. Yeah. But then it's going to be useless to me for a couple of turns. Because it's going to be between these guys yeah. and that. Yeah. Definitely growing. Yeah. There's, there's strategy to this game. Yeah. I just haven't mastered it yet. Um. Thinking a few steps ahead would help. I'm going to spend two points yep. to grow the tree on the gap into a medium tree. Thank you. Goes there. And I'm going to spend my other two points to buy a small tree off my board. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, I am going to spend... Uh, no. I'm going to spend two points to turn this tree into a medium tree. Okay. That goes back on your board? It goes back on my board. Yep. I'm not trying to cheat, guys. I <laughs> promise. You just keep forgetting, yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and then I am going to use my other four points here 
to buy one of these guys. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Big dream. That was a smooth move. Smooth move. You're really kind of breezing through this game. Ha! <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to spend one point to take a seed from my board. Yep. And I'm going to spend another point to turn this seed into a small tree. Really, most of my planning has just been going out on a limb. Yeah, no, I really hear you there. I've been branching out from my primary strategy. Um, and then I'm going to bank my remaining two. You're all welcome, by the way. These oh. are free. <laughs> Hello, Malcolm for life. Malcolm Fett. Hello again. All right, We're uh, being attacked by puns. Uh, I have four points available. I'm going to spend all four of those to purchase a Gigamundo tree. And you both had us on stream. This, this is oh, your we own knew. doing. We knew. Yeah. We knew what was going to happen. I mean, I don't hide it. I know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> let's see, let's to be fair, his bark is worse than his bite. That's good. I, I welcome one <laughs> of us. One of us. Oh, there's like a little thing on the edge that like kind of keeps it off the oh, board. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. It's got a little yeah, thing it's got a, a it's got a little lip to it. Cool. That's nifty. Yeah. All right. Not if I not if I not if I run it into all the trees. Yeah, when I first saw the board, I was like, so is the sun actually attached? Like, does it rotate from a central point? But no, it's, a, it's just a separate piece you can put on the board. Yeah, late to the party, but you still came, so yeah. we're, we're glad. Okay. Welcome. We're playing photosynthesis. It's awesome. It is awesome. I actually want to, to pause in a couple of moments, but we'll we'll get to it. So here, here's the thing, Kat. I grew up in a household with a pun master. Yeah, it's true. My father is worse than these three combined. I'm only develop I'm only developing We're my just counting skills. sun points. Right so now, this right? is one, two, He's really three, four, good at five, it. six. This doesn't score, this um, doesn't score. Correct. And so dinners total. at my house were always okay, just so sort I of I get constant puns. This guy. Yep. So it's one not so much that three on this I'm yeah. bothered by it. Four. Yes. It's that they're just and so bad. Yes, that this guy doesn't like score and this guy doesn't score. Correct. So five. Total of seven. Yeah. Okay. Because I banked two from my Yep, yep. Uh, sun is shining this way, so I get two, none, three. So I get three. All right. So I'm getting two, three, four, five. Yes. And okay. now we're on to the grow phase. Yes. So uh, with... I got, what, six points to work with here? All right. Uh, I am, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it, guys. I am going to spend three points to turn. Which one do I want to turn? I want to turn this one. This one right here is going to become big. a mighty oak. Yes, it yes. is large. Look at it. It's it's majestic. Big McLarge huge. Yep. <laughs> and so uh, and so with that, uh, that still allows have me three points left. I do have three points left. So and with that, I'm going to use those three points to purchase that medium tree and put it back into my supply. Okay. So you know, since we're a forest of sharing here, I uh, I'm going to spend four points to get my own mighty. Uh, mm -hmm. And, you know, upon seeing yours, it just looks so nice that I'm going to grow this tree into <laughs> the mighty, the mighty pine it can be. The, the punny pine. The, the pine pun. I don't, I don't like Insert right pine now. pun nope. here. I, yep, see, I, I see, see what you were trying to do there. Yep. <laughs> so nope. uh, and that's, that's all of We all have the same idea here. I'm going to spend three and I'm going to grow a mighty oak as well. Uh, and I'm going to grow mine. I only have two options. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to grow this one into a mighty. Oh, uh, do I want to block sun for people and be that guy? Yeah, probably. Either way you do it, you're going to have to. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going to happen. Um, block it there. Thanks. And this goes back into the bank here. What? All right. So I have five points to play with.
I mean, everyone else is doing it. Yeah, spend four? Spending four, getting my own Velage. <laughs> um, and How not to be seen. <laughs> I'm going to One point left. Yep. I'm going to spend my last point to place a seed here. Okay. Now the sun rotates. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you pause the game for one second after it rotates? I want sure. to show chat something. Ah. So guys, if you want to mute me for just a moment? I'm going to just use the restroom, Mom. Sure, sure. Um, so I want you guys to all see something. So I'm going to switch cameras for a moment, and we're going to take a journey. Whoa! Because the board that you guys can see is from straight above is not anywhere near as beautiful as the board that we can see with this growing forest that is coming up here and it is just breathtaking the way this completely empty space has become this lovely grove full of trees and I don't think you can appreciate that from the angle that you guys are viewing it from it really is it's very nice yeah I'm sorry that the lighting thing that we were going to try didn't work out. It was a good idea, but the we're limited by the hardware we have. Yeah, exactly. Limitations, but that's okay. I just wanted to show that off. And we still have to wait for Steve to get back because he is player one. Um, yeah, so... Uh, Otherwise, uh, how about that local sports team? <laughs> I don't want to make fun of sports ball. I mean, we do live in a state that right now has astonishingly effective sports teams. I'm glad apparently. you said effective because <laughs> good is such they're, a value they're, judgment, they're, but effective is not. <laughs> they're very efficient at the sports ball. Yeah. They, they apparently do well. They do sports good. They sport well. Yes. Um, there's uh, someone I follow on Twitter, uh, Susan Arendt, who is very, very funny. She does um, polite game commentary, which is stuff like, what ho, the bird men seem to be carrying that ball very effectively. <laughs> um, and her Twitter feed during a game is really hilarious whether you follow sports or not. It's just really funny to, to oh, see her back. take on things. Hi, guys. So. Sorry, I, I almost left you in like limbo there just looking at my board and nothing else. <laughs> it wasn't very thrilling. All right, so. That's where the real game is played, Andy. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. So, Steve. All right. Or do you prefer Steven? I keep calling you Steve. Either way. Okay. All right. So, let's see. I kind of trunk block myself here a little bit, but I've got two points here. I've got three points here. There's and eight points there. One here. Yeah. So, that's a total of six. Yeah. Because these are all blocked. Yes. So. Okay. Uh, I have nothing from that. One from that. One from that, that's two, three, four, five. Yeah. That's it, right? Yeah. I can't see any other no, trees. I, I don't think you have any others. Yep, so I'm at five. If you do, they're so well hidden, you're not getting any points <laughs> from them. All right, I'm getting one, two, three. Yep. And that's it. Yeah, because this shadow goes one, yeah. two, three to there. So I'm at three points. Okay. Alright, uh, and I have nothing there. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. That's it. That's all the points. Let's see. How do I want to do this? 
think I'm going to spend one point to drop a seed from my, my mighty tree here. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. Yep. To there. And then I'm going to spend two points to grow this guy into a medium tree. Which exiles that little guy, right? Oh, I did this backwards. Yeah, if this is going to exile this. I mean, if you want to... No, 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 it's fine. Okay. It's order of operations is important in this game. Um, and then... Yeah, I'm going to spend one more point to take another seed for my tableau. Okay. Yeah. Now, order of operations is, is very important in this game. So yeah, so definitely an important lesson to take away from this. Available. Uh, I'm going to. Is this going correctly? One, two, three. And I'm banking two for those who are keeping track. I'm going to spend all five points. That other guy. And buy myself another giant tree. A you can see that tree cost five. Actually, I don't know if the chat can see that because of the angle here. But the first giant tree cost four, and the second one cost five. Yeah. So they get more expensive unless you refresh them. Things things cost more the higher up on the board you go. Yeah. Like the first two medium trees are three, but the, that third one is four. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, uh, that's all my points. So. All right, I'm going to spend all my points to turn that medium tree there into a big tree. A very large tree. I have tree. my medium tree. Yes. Thank you. And that was all my points, so that's all okay. I'm doing. Okay, um, so I'm going to spend, um, spend two points to purchase another small tree for my supply. I'm going to spend the other two points to turn this small tree mm -hmm. into a it's getting bigger. medium tree. All right. You know what? I I totally cheated. Oh wait, and when this one cheat? goes just now, but I can correct it. So I planted this medium tree, but I don't think that I ever repurchased it from here. Um, huh? So all I so to correct myself, I'm going to return a seed to my tableau, which gives me one additional point, which makes me exhaust all my points that would have given me what oh, I so needed you to bought do. The all tree that. I had to, would have had to buy the tree it. and place okay. it, but I had just placed it here instead of on my board. Okay. So thank you for yeah, no, I, being honest. That's uh, yeah. that's very that's good, that's important. <laughs> yeah. All right. And that's so what a first game now is the for is moves. learning the well. I mean, I think and I realized this soon enough. I realized our viewers are well aware that we make mistakes on these streams. Yeah. We're not, <laughs> this is live, and oftentimes we're playing for the first time. Yep. Mistakes have been made. Yeah, no, no, so I'm not worried fair. about the, I just want to make sure that okay. I'm going to win because of it. <laughs> but here's the first player Pass. token for yep. you. Yep. And the sun rotates to this side of the board. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we okay? go. Yeah, All right. That's good. I am first player. I get... I am government one, man. Two, <laughs> come from, come the government. from the government. One, two, none, three, four, five, six. Puts me at six. The scoring board here goes all the way to 20. What happens if you get more than 20? You Maybe can't. you can't. Maybe you can. physically can't get more than that because it's six, if you're sitting seven, eight, on nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, points, 14, 15. What are you actually doing with yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you have one tree that you're getting a point I'm done. I'm up to six <laughs> points now. Uh, Amanda. All right. So I'm going to get coming this way. three points off of that tree, three. and that's all I'm getting. Was yeah. one reason why I wanted to make sure that tree got yep. nice and tall. Yep. Um, so I'm getting three points. Um, so I have one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six. Yes. Yep. So I'm getting two for this one, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Oh, planned. Okay. Even even without cheating. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to. I need. I have six. I'm going to spend three to buy a medium tree, because of, as we've learned, it, the order that you do things matter. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to spend three to grow this tree. 
and that goes back there, and this goes here. Actually, I shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. I'm fine. Everything's fine? Yes. This is fine. Uh, Amanda. All right. So I'm going to take my three points, and I am going to purchase a medium tree off my board. Okay. You, you, you know what, actually, I, I feel like I would be a lot more placid if, instead of being surrounded by fire like last week, oh, this is fine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's a lot of trees Some just suddenly showing up around me. Full of trees. Everything that could be worse. Fine. Everything's good. Yeah. Everything's last good. week was like this massive conflagration and propane tanks exploding. And now it's just like, yeah, it's not my tree. Yeah. It's yeah. a really nice tree. I feel like I should get like forest sounds and play them over the stream. A <laughs> little, little, little white noise. Yeah. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on. I have an app for that. <laughs> I don't have the, the cord that I used to plug it into the stream last time. And so, yes. uh, I am going to no, spend that's a crackling fire. five that's not points helpful at all. to get the other big tree out of supply here. Lovely. Uh, I am then going to spend my one other point to uh, to place oh, my seed. Yeah. Um, oh, there's already a seed over there. Huh. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just gonna put one. Seed. I'm gonna I'm gonna put one there. Okay, fine. Yep. It's Do things. Yep. Okay. I'll be right back while Amanda gets this white noise thing working. I I don't just have a forest. I have a gentle stream. <laughs> Gentle stream. With we, we, we do have streams on the border of the of the board here. All right, let's see. Um, Envision, if you will. These are, these are all very strong streams. I'm not as okay with this. It, it's it's not so much gentle babbling brook as a as like a waterfall. You're, you're maybe going uh, rafting. What's wet forest? No, that's very rainy. It's very rainy here, but. That's not what I was looking for. I was just looking for, like... Are we going for a noir detective scene? These are really noisy. So None of the other sounds I have saxophone. are this noisy. Hmm. Hold on, hold on. Crackling fire. No, <laughs> I don't know. That was last week. <laughs> I'm annoyed. There's no just regular, like, forest sound. I thought for sure it would have one. Is it my turn? It's Whose turn is it? What are we actually doing? Actually, my turn. Oh, right okay. Now. I'm Never just trying mind to decide that. what I'm going to do. I'm trying to, I'm trying to do that that dastardly right. planning thing. I actually think I'm going to spend five to get my large tree, and then two to grab one of my small trees, and okay. that's it. Nope, I didn't do this right. So five and two. So I have one left. All right. And that brings us around. Okay. So we'll move to. to the sun. Oh right, because he was first player, right? Yeah, he's first yeah, player, first so player. the so it's gonna pass here. Turn on extra light up here. I don't know. Oh, that was your intention. Yeah. No, I didn't intend to do that. I hit the wrong switch. <laughs> uh, I want all of these natural noises. Here we go. We can see the board again. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. At all. Now, I was hoping I could find a piece of AV equipment that would let me plug Amanda's phone into the stream so that you guys could hear it directly. I'm just going to hold it up sounds. to my mic. Okay. <laughs> but If I, I can find an, uh, the right sound. That's but good. for now, All right, it's, so photosynthesizing it's photosynthesis time. time. Who's first player? Uh, Amanda is now first player. Okay. So I am getting one, two, three. 
Mm -hmm. Four. Oh, yes. Four. This one's four. It's not block. Mm -hmm. Yep. Five, six, seven? Yep. Yes. Yes. Very nice. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Um, exactly. Yes. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. I get two, five, six, I think just six. Yeah. Brings me to a total of seven. I get one, two, three, four. Nothing, nothing. Hey, Andy, we're getting a little bit of crack. Oh, I can take care of that. Give me a sec, folks. Back. All right. Um, Amanda. And then you get to play your light. Yeah, I get to play shine light. your light. Shine, 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 shine your light. Shine, shine. Oh, sorry. That's an obscure one. If you're um. a mystery science theater fan, you get it. <laughs> okay, so I have seven points to play with. I just kept adapting Frozen lyrics all day in my head. Let it grow. <laughs> Let it grow. That's good. Please yeah. don't put that in my head. I work in a children's <laughs> library. Do I you just want to don't put it. that evil on her. I'm totally serious. Do you I will want to you. find some trees? <laughs> I will gut you like a bitch. <laughs> okay, then. You don't know my hell. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to hear a lot, a lot of songs every day that I wish I didn't have to hear. I'm going to get something stuck in your head and you're going to hate me. <laughs> it's okay. No, it's not. Anyways. I have seven points Instead to play of threatening with. to hurt our friends, <laughs> we could play a game instead. He sang Let It Go at me. Yeah, he did. Well, I sang let, let It Grow. Don't care. Same tune. <laughs> It's like saying if you listen to a Weird Al song and you find yourself like humming it, <laughs> that everyone's going to know you're humming the Weird Al version and yeah. not the actual version. The number They're of times that I've hummed so much found it on eBay. <laughs> I'm hearing static again. Oh, man. Yeah. Not on Earth. It's okay. I'm, I'm My new theory about the static is that it's radioactivity. One of you is causing a Geiger counter to start. I know it's not me. I mean, I could I could see that last time since one of us one of us was maybe when we hotter. eventually play the Fallout game on screen, we'll just let the static go. I do spend a lot of time in the in the, in the Commonwealth wastelands. That's true. Um, I'm trying to decide what I want to what what I want to grow or not. Um, seven points. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I'm like looking at that page, being like, I don't see the information I need. That's because it's on the back. Okay. So I am actually. A small to a medium is three points. Small to a medium is two points. So I'm going to spend two points to turn that one mm -hmm. into a medium. That goes back off my board. That goes there. Yeah. And I am going to. That was two points. So yep. now you're I'm at, at five. five. And I'm going to see. Malcolm Fett for life agrees that Disney songs are evil earworms. There. Uh, 
<laughs> I'm going to spend two points to take a small tree off my board. Okay. Go down to three. And then I'm going to spend one point to grow the seed closest to Andy into a tree. Okay. Here's the seed back. And I'm going to bank my last two points. That seed goes on your board. That's right, it does. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Yes. Um, so I am going to spend three points to turn my medium tree into, tree? into a less a medium tree. tree. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and so that will leave me with five points. I am going to. Uh, I'm going to purchase a couple things uh, out of my supply here. I'm going to purchase a. I'm gonna purchase a seed from my supply. And I am going to purchase a, a small tree from my supply, and that will uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. All right. I'm going to spend. I'm also going to spend three here to turn this bad Larry into a large tree. Okay. And then I'm going to spend four to harvest. This mm. tree oh. here to yep. get me one the uh, 17 points here off the two. There you go. Yep. And that's all my points. First of us to get points. Okay, I'm going to spend two. two. I have four. Let's so see. Three, two. And I'm going to grow this. Oh, did you find forest noises I for did, our stream? I did. I have two points left. I'm going to plant a seed. No, I'm just going to bank those points. All right. All right. First player token passes to Travis. She rotates, and this is a we, full revolution. Yep, we have completed two full revolutions. One remains, and Travis Can is first player. Yes. Amanda, you want to give Travis the first player? Okay. Thank you. All right, and because so we're in the middle of a forest, everybody. Uh, <laughs> so I believe the one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, so ten, eleven. Mm -hmm. Wow. Twelve, thirteen. I'm up to thirteen points. Yeah. Yeah. Okay then. Let's see. I've got two, three, four, or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Points. I have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus my two puts me at ten. Okay. I'm getting one, two, three, four. Yep. And those two. Nothing. Nothing. I'm getting nothing. four. Okay. So I got to six. Travis. All right. So uh, I am going to. I was trying to plan out where I want to put this next seed. Um, I believe I'm going to attempt to place a seed. Oh god, no, I keep forgetting that there's a seed right there. So I guess instead, I'm going to put it right here. Yeah, this woods. Why not? Woods are getting choked. So, uh, don't worry, I'm going to alleviate that. <laughs> uh, I am going to spend four points to mulch this tree. 
Yeah. And that gets you the 14, or I'm sorry, the 16 points. Yep. And I'm going to spend four points to mulch this tree. Which gets you the 22 points. Uh, yeah. And then I am going to spend one point to turn this one into a small tree. And I am going to then also spend... Oh, no, wait. I don't have any medium trees to actually grow any of my small trees into. So with my last three points, I am going to purchase a medium tree for my supply. All right. That was a lot of stuff you just did. Yes. Steven. All right. I am going to spend one point to plant a seed in that space. Mm -hmm. Then... Malcolm uh, just asked if any of us know anybody going to the uh, I am. To the Indie Game Festival. I, I'm, I'll be there. I'll be awesome. uh, I'll be there during the day. Um, I'm bringing my daughter actually, so we're nice. gonna we're gonna try to go around. So, so if you see me, <laughs> <laughs> say hi. <laughs> then say hello. Yeah. Uh, I alas have to work. Let's see. Okay. So I'm gonna plant a seed there. And Andy has to run a magic free release here. Going to yeah. Oh. yeah, I'll be here all day. I'm gonna spend I mean, four I like magic. to mulch this tree. Yes. Into the chipper it goes. Fourteen more points 14 for you. Fourteen more points. And I feel like I need to get some points. Uh, I am currently at ten. Oh, are you done? I'm sorry. And Did you spend points to mulch? Yes, yeah, I did. Spent I was at. Uh, yeah, I did. I, I definitely did. Um, because I was, I was at eight. I spent one, and then spent four, and then I spent four, and yep. I'm going to spend three to get a medium tree into my. Okay, my turn. I'm going to. Hey, what? Spend when that happens, when I discover something is a poor choice just after I do it. It's like oh, purchase. I could have used those trees a for tree. a bit more sun. Uh. And I'm going to hmm. I spend two to grow this tree into a medium tree. This goes into the box. I'm going to uh, spend one to plant the seed. So do we know who's going to be at the Boston Festival of Indie Games? Uh, I know a couple of people are going to be there. I, for example, I know uh, Aviary Games is going to be there. They're the publishers of Alchemy, uh, oh, yeah. which is which is a you know sort of a potion building game. I have a copy of Alchemy at home. Yep. Yeah. And uh, they're also coming out with Crown of Exile this year. Um, I believe uh, somebody we know actually from from the store, James Fitzpatrick. Mm -hmm. He's uh, brought um, Mission to Planet Hex, which is a game that he has I designed. I think I've seen that in action. Uh, yeah. And he actually, I believe, is going to be featured as part of. He's part of the actual. Um, he's part of the actual like. I don't know how the actual festival works, but he has been accepted into the festival. Right. Um, those well, are the people that I cool. know who go there. Like you're going to be all the people with with the uh, the shirt that says Legacy, Malcolm. All of them. All okay. of them. <laughs> Anybody who has a shirt that says Legacy, I'll just say Malcolm. 
Well, if it's not Malcolm, I'm sure they'll point you in the right trips. direction. Yeah. I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna assume that it's them. So. And so I spent um, five of my six yep, points to buy, a big to tree. buy my big tree. Yep. And now I'm going to spend my last point to grow, this. To grow that into a little that bitty tree. box. And I'm actually going to be bringing my own that I have been working on. So to rotate. Oh, two. Oh. and oh. Oh, we, we just got rid of the two. We already okay. did. Yep. yep. So now it's going to rotate. So now on the is, last rotation. this is the final revolution. Final countdown. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I know. I was trying not to get it stuck in Amanda's well, head. Too late. Too late. Too late. What have you done? <laughs> All right. So All right, you're so going to displaced another song that had been in my One, head, so that's acceptable. Two, three, four points. Yes. I'm going to get many See, points. See, Malcolm asked what kind Let's of game see. you're making. It is three. a... It's a card-based game Six, that seven, is eight, nine, ten. sort of similar Plus to, I guess you could call it an anti-deck builder. You're trying to get, you're trying to like mill down your opponent's deck to get down to one card, basically. You're putting cards in their deck that if they draw with the card in front of them, then they lose. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a feudal Japanese-themed game where you're trying to, uh, you're trying to kill your opponent's daimo. With with ninja, so you're throwing ninja into their castle, and then so you're, you're decimating to, their yeah. You're trying to like make resources. it so that as the ninja are going through, there's no place for the daimo to hide. And then once the ninja is revealed, then if the ninja and just the daimo are by themselves, then the ninja kills the daimo. It's a like it plays it. Pretty, pretty quickly. So and far, I've got the time down to like between ten and fifteen minutes. That. We should right? show you. So we haven't finished all of the photosynthesizing. Yeah. So you oh, can't I'm do sorry. That. I'm hey. sorry. I'm getting ahead of myself. No I just worries. I just got my. Point. <laughs> you're so excited. You just. I'm I've points. got so many so points. Look at this. I'm up to 14 I just, points. I took us like all the way back to Feudal Japan. I've got this wood chipper, <laughs> yeah. and I want to use it. Um, uh, so yeah, so if you see me, I'll have it so we can play Malcolm. That's awesome. I have to so you need to photosynthesize I'm getting here. two, three, four, five, six. Excellent. So I now have seven, seven points. Yes. Um, one of our friends one, made two, a... Three, four, five. Um, a yeah, driving fine. card yeah. game yeah. Mm -hmm. that we have that we should show you. Oh, it's yeah. actually pretty fun. Like Millborns or like Mill 500? It, it, it has a it's feel. Faster. Uh, it's faster. It's yeah, it's a little faster than Millborn. Okay. Um, but it's, it's like got a, a feel game. like that. Yeah, yeah, it's you're chasing, you're a chasing a criminal. Cool. And you, ha like the criminal gets to play direction cards like and swords, you have to try yeah. and yeah. match their cards. Interesting. And speed up to meet them. It's very cool. I like it. Well, again, if I see you, I will play anything. So. Sit me down and I'll play your game. <laughs> uh, let's see here. So what was I trying to do? Ooh, uh, boy. You've got four points. Andy? Yeah. Bad static. static. It's a forest fire. Don't worry. Cool. That's I always feel like me because it's the only thing. Only one hex over, guys. That fire will never come here. <laughs> this place is too nice. I think I'm going to spend. Sorry about that static, two folks. To replace a medium tree here. Okay. And then. Which way is the sun going next to The sun's coming this way. So. That's going to come this way. So that would be good to have. Is I'm going to spend one more. Plant a tree here. Okay. And this is going to get exiled. Okay. Now it's my turn. I get to do stuff now. Now you actually get to okay. do all the things because you have I'm a gonna ton of sun points. Stuff. I've got 14. I'm going to spend four to mulch this guy, uh, which gets me a one pointer, a one leaper. So I get 14 so points. So just a, a point for folks in terms of like how points are tallied up yeah um you get points for unused light points yes at the one end. point for every three trees on the board do not count unless there's a tie yeah so, so i'll still play that. it uh, i'm gonna spend five more one two three four five down to five get this and then uh, i'm gonna spend three more one, two, three, to grow this tree. 
And I'll spend one more down to one to grow a tree over here. So you might, my uh, Malcolm, my limit is as long as it's not zombie themed because that's not really my thing. But guy. if, but if you. If you put a game in front of me, these, these guys can attest to it. I will play it, <laughs> and I'll either give you good feedback on it, or I'll thoroughly enjoy it. <laughs> it's, it's really... Okay. Yeah. So I'll, I'll play anything. Amanda, I pass to you. All right. So I am going to... Seven points. I am going to spend four points to turn Ooh, space combat sims i like those yeah i like space combat. this tree here into a tall tree it's actually only three points to do that oh it's i'm gonna spend points three to points to do that <laughs> <laughs> thank you Steve. and i am going to spend I don't have any seeds out, do I? Do you, I can't see. Uh, I think I've grown all my yeah, seeds. All seeds. Excellent. That's what I thought. Um, so I'm going to spend a point to buy a seed off my board, and then spend my last three points to buy a medium tree. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Turn. So I am going to spend. Nice. Um, sorry. Yes, I am going to spend uh, two points to turn this tree into a bigger tree. Okay. And then I am going to use my other three points to do nothing. <laughs> That's the turn. Yep. So, pass here. Yep. Sun shall rotate. Yep. And then we get some more points. I get one, two, three, none. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Plus my existing one puts me at nine. And then right. I have one, two, three, four, five. Nothing. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's in shadow. But six, seven, eight. Yes. So I'm at eight points. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I have one. And you put it on the eight. Because you have five. Oh, oh, you have three. I was at three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You have five. I'm sorry, you're quite right. Uh, I think I get three for these two. So one, yeah. two, three. Looks right to yeah, me. This is not yeah. the best direction yeah. for me right now. Okay. <laughs> I am up to nine. You sort of always have a direction that's a good one for you and mm -hmm. a direction that's yeah, just it feels like that. not great. Yeah. <laughs> um, I kind of made that myself. Gonna it's, it's tough with the planting because you have to plant so close to yourself yeah. that sometimes you can kind of make it tough for yourself to, to buy this. Yeah. That's what I've got going on, like right up in there. Mm -hmm. To grow this, that goes away. Um, and spend one to plant a seed here, leaving me with four remaining. Amanda. Alrighty. Let's see what I can do. What damage can I inflict on this forest? <laughs> I'm thinking about what my trees are going to give me next turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Definitely a lot of thinking ahead and like looking yeah. at where the sun's rotating to. You can sort of anticipate to a certain degree where other people are growing stuff that's going to block your sunlight. So I'm going to spend 
Uh, little into medium is two points, so I'm going to spend two points to turn that tree into that. Yep. Um, and So Malcolm, I am a huge Elite fan. Um, I had the original Elite on my Atari ST way, way back in the day, and Elite Dangerous is one of my favorite games on the PC. Sadly, I am not any good at combat, so I spend a lot of time mining <laughs> and just trucking, traveling between mulching. places. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. That one. A 13. That. So space combat sims definitely and sound awesome. And that puts me down to two, and I am going to spend uh, one of those to place a seed here. Okay. And pass to Travis. All right. Uh, I am going to spend. Uh, four to get one of these big trees back mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then I am going to spend three to Good turn something. one of my medium trees into a big tree now which one do I want to do I'm gonna say this one okay there it goes another big tree for you there it goes and I'll save the one remaining point uh, I'm gonna take no action oh okay Ooh. Amanda, you are first player now. Okay. So I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six points, yes. which puts me at eight. Yes. Okay, um, I believe. Nine. Nope. Nope. One. So one, two, three, four. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to get three points. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was at four, so I'm at fourteen now. Wow. Okay. So, all right then. Well then. All right, so I'm going to spend five of my points. Having all the sun in the world doesn't help if I don't get some points, though. Yeah. To think, think forward a couple of moves. Um, I am spending uh, five points to get my big tree off my board again. And I'm at three points, so I'm going to use those three points to turn this into that. There. And that puts me at zero. And I will pass the traps. All right. So uh, I am going to uh, five points. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Third person. Interesting sounding. I think it is when I lean on the table. I'm hearing static you just now, get static and again? I'm leaning on the table. How could yeah. that happen? That's I don't okay. know, but it's happening when I lean on the table, so I'm going to go ahead and try very hard not to lean on the table. And All right. Okay, so uh, that, uh, that being said, uh, I am going to spend. Yeah, I'm going to spend three points to purchase a medium tree from the supply here, and then I am going to spend my other two points to turn this small tree into a medium tree, and uh, that is going to be my turn.
going to spend four points to take a medium tree from here. And then two points to grow this tree into a medium tree. And this is going to be exiled. Um, and then reserve my last point. Okay. Okay, it's not me leaning on it because I'm hearing it now, which is really frustrating because we just reset right. the sound. Right. I'm really sorry about this, guys. It's, it's it, not me leaning on the table because I was. It doesn't have to do with leaning on the table. Uh, I, I, it's so weird. I'm fairly certain it's a software issue, but all right. So I have to, I have to do something. Um, I'm going to. Spend four first of all, down to ten, and take down this tree, timber, <laughs> uh, which gets me a two leaf. It's going down. He's yelling timber. Thank you. Yes. Malcolm, keep right. that a secret. <laughs> uh, this is upsetting to me. The angle of the sun on the next turn. We can trap the sun somehow. They, they did, yeah. But I have to do something, so... Uh, one, two, three, four, five... to buy that back. And then... one, two, three... to grow this. Sorry, that goes here. I have two left. I'm going to bank those two. Did I miscount there? I was at 14. I spent 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, no, I'm right. All right. So that Amanda. Are Amanda, but that was your first player, right? Yes. Yes. So now we rotate. So rotates. Clean cup, move down. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I believe here I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, yes, that looks right to me. Alright. Yeah, two, four. Yes. I get three, four, five. I'm looking from that because of that big tree there. I had two, so I'm at seven. I'm into. I have one, two, three. Yep. Four, five, six, seven. Yes. All right. Things happening. Things are indeed happening. It's very exciting. Um, so I am going to spend four to mulch. <laughs> And then, with my remaining three points, I'm not going to do anything because that's not enough points to do the things I want. Okay. So there we go. Yep. Five points. Uh, I'm going to take no action. Okay. Uh, I think I am doomed. Then four, down to three, and I'll mulch this one. Is that a three pointer? That's a three, yeah. Go ahead, Amanda. All right. So I am going to. This is our note. Will the sun return to here, or yeah. once it gets to here, is that? I think once it gets to there, that's the end. Yeah. So, so, one so we have one turn. more round after yes. this? Well, because 
because we started with it there, yep. collected and did everything. So. Yeah. Yeah, we, yeah. I'm going to mulch that tree there. Yep. Four, so it gets me three. And I get you a one leaf. Yep. And I'm gonna bank the rest. Okay. Last turn. So if I take a gander at the at the booklet there, Just I'm going to get two, three, four, five. Yes. Total of ten. Okay, I'm gonna get three. Total of six. <laughs> I'm gonna get one, two, three. One, two, three. Four, five. Four, five. So I'm at eight. I'm gonna get six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Were you looking up to see if we go one yeah, more? Yep, and it, it the wording is Not ambiguous. Clear. Yeah. Okay. I think if we, I think if it ends here, I take no action. But if it goes to here, I act. It's basically. It's I'm basically trying to come to a consensus. I'm virtually positive that when it hits the sun, we remove the last token. Mm -hmm. And that's the end of the game. Okay. Then I take no action this turn. Okay. Because there's nothing, there's nothing I can do. I, because basically I have ten points, so I can't plant and mulch a tree on the same. Travis, turn. what does it specifically say? Okay. Specific wording. The game ends when the sun has completed three revolutions around the board, and the last sun revolution counter has been drawn. Players then count the points on their scoring tokens. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So the sun counter is drawn when it hits the when sun. When it hits there. So yeah. So that would be it. Okay. Yeah. So I'll take, okay, I'll take you no take no actions. actions. Yep. Because I'm gonna I spend can't four to mulch my same. last big tree. One, two, three, four. Puts me at two. Mulch for a two leafer. Uh, pass to Amanda. All right. Um, I'm going to spend four to mulch my last tree. That puts me at four. You get a two leaper. Yeah. Sorry. And Travis. Yep, we already determined that they cannot be mulched on the same turn that they're grown. Yep. Correct. Yeah. Because That's you can't take the, the same, same action on the same yeah. space. Yep. So take another action on the same space. So uh, literally, it, w it would do nothing for me to grow one of the trees right now. You might now. as well just keep your points and bank them and count them towards your yep. final score. All right. So counting points. Uh, everybody gets one point for every three sun they still have on their board. And then we get whatever we, we got from mulching our trees. So I've got... Uh, Thirty. Forty-four. Fifty-three. Sixty-three. Yeah, Fifty-five. Thirty-four. Forty. Good game, guys. <laughs> GG. Yeah, about three turns from the end, when the sun was over here, I was starting to think, okay, how can I mulch the most yeah, by the end of the game? Because nothing you, else matters. You not mulching the tree that was basically right here was basically detrimental to me. I was I was expecting oh. you to mulch that like two turns before the end, and, and it that killed it me because it, yeah. it basically removed four points from me by the end of the... There's sort of a strategic yeah. non-mulching. And I wasn't sure if you were seeing that on purpose, through. but it was it was definitely. It was the only way that I could get points, really, because mm -hmm. this one was shaded. I had a big yeah. tree here, but mm -hmm. it was shaded by Amanda's big tree towards the right. end of the game. Yeah, so they were blocking each other. Very interesting, though. Yeah. The strategy involved, I think it'll take me a couple more playthroughs to really like get a handle on placement of seeds mm -hmm. to maximize where to like set be sending my seeds as they go because I got sort of trapped in the outer rings mm -hmm. um, and I wasn't able to move inwards because there are fewer spaces the further in you go right um, and 
figuring out where in the turn order you're able to do it because the round that you took the middle space I would have also been able to take the middle space and you grabbed it before I did yep. and maybe if I hadn't missed that seed that one round mm -hmm. I would have had the points the next round to put a seed somewhere else and mm -hmm. yeah for me it was I grabbed that middle space so that nobody else could do it but yeah. I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it was uh, more to just hold it. Exactly. Yeah. To make it so that I get the other 21 points. But the problem that was middle is, space is I ended up, so a lot of the times, I ended up actually blocking myself. Because yeah. over here, I had like a line of three right in a row. Yeah. And whenever the sun came here, basically all three of these trees were blocked. So they that just was, did nothing for They form. just did yeah. nothing for me. Which, yeah. every other place, it was worth three points to me as it went. And then when I grew this. But right. I think part of this game that... Um, that will definitely help me in the future is I didn't start mulching till almost the end of the second revolution. Yeah. Yeah. Probably should have been mulching sooner because I, I had the ability I to mulching until almost the end. Yeah. It's nice I to get all the big points, points and getting, yeah. to be getting all the sun yeah. and getting all the light points. But those me medium trees, if you have a bunch of them out, they're still giving you a lot of points right. to yeah. play with. And causing a lot of shade, too. And causing a lot of shade. And those big trees, y you really only want to keep them around for a couple of rounds before, it, like a couple of turns before you mulch them. Yeah, definitely. Unless they're they're really strategically placed so that they're, they're either giving you points all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or they're stopping your opponents from getting points all the time. Yeah. <laughs> well, shall we... Go to first impressions, because for all of us, this is the first time we've had yeah. a chance to yeah, play absolutely. this game, and it's still relatively new. And I felt like it was. It's the bag that we had the. To oh, uh, I put it over here somewhere. There it is. It's with the instruct, the French copy of the instructions. We could have had a second person reading instructions and con corroborating, but yeah, I don't speak French. Does anybody <laughs> here read French? Not enough. No. Yeah, not. Um, Can I have point tokens from folks sure. and light tokens? This is a 14 and a 16. Uh, they're points. not going to stay in order in the bag. Oh, it's that's a good point. Happen. Yeah, they're just getting tossed in there. Yeah. And light tokens. Because I want them to be as flat as possible also, yeah. so I'm not trying to stack them. Where are my seed? Did you, did you want the seeds as well? or we? No, the no, seeds the can, seeds go, with can the go in with the trees. Yeah, they can go in the pocket or yeah. you know, in the, the separator with the trees. So I think... Production-wise, this is one of the prettiest games I've seen in a long time. It's a really. I, game. I think it really served well uh, when you took that short little break to uh, to have a to zoom um, in and get yeah, a, yeah to have a view, view from the side of this because uh, definitely an overhead view doesn't uh, exactly do it justice of what we were seeing. Yeah. Yeah. It's just Enjoy a really pretty game. Trees to go in the green pocket. You have to be careful. You can't just do that because oh, then the boards have to sit. Blop on them it. in. Yeah. Because <laughs> the boards have to sit on top. Yeah, I think. I think for me, first impression here is the game. It, it's deceptively simple. Yeah, we spent a lot of time figuring things out in yep. the first couple of turns, and then once you knew the mechanics, mm. you started thinking about how are the you going to. Of it. Yeah, exactly. How are you going to get more points? Yeah. To buy more stuff to but get bigger But it's definitely trees. it's definitely finding that balance of you know it has those same mechanics of of splendor that you were saying that there's sort of that scale of when you get points. It's very yeah. clear that the more of those point tokens that you end up with, you are very likely to win, even if you're getting the higher point ones, even if you're in the middle here. Yeah. If you're around the outside and you can just get a bunch of points that way, yeah, sometimes I that I, works out. I got really one well. three pointer, mm -hmm. two two, or one three leafer, yep. two two leafers and one one leaf. Yeah. And, and so it won I won me the game because I had four tokens and you guys each had three. Exactly. But the other one is playing those, playing the light and game is, seed, is super important because when I was feeling pretty good because I was getting a lot of light at the beginning, yeah. but then suddenly you were getting a ton of light at the end and that's when I needed all the light. And, and I was nervous about how much light you were getting. I was like, oh, man, Steve's well, getting, yeah. like, all these points. Yeah, early on, I thought Steve was the easy winner because he was getting, like, so much sun, mm -hmm. which gave him so many more options early in the game. And I think there's a, and I think there's definitely an element, too, of I was very worried towards the beginning when I, after my first turn, that I made 
I had to exile, I exiled the tree on my first turn, and I was very worried about that. I thought that was going to be a huge problem. But then we all did. But then, yeah. but then I'm getting towards the end, and I'm like, I really didn't need all these small trees. They're kind of just a means to an end. So exiling, like exiling trees and exiling seeds, as long as they're not your medium or your large trees, which I don't think you can exile. I think you, I think, I think you could exile one medium point. tree, yeah. Yeah. but you can't exile exile your large trees. But exiling those small trees, I, I have uh, seeds too. For Thank those. you. Um, it, it definitely felt more ominous, just mm -hmm. sort of yeah. like the, the, the terminology of it, and then the actual act of it. Like you're yeah. not getting that tree anymore. Yeah, you remove it. It's, but it's I think, done. I think it's not. It wasn't nearly as scary as I expected it to be it's towards the end. That it wasn't like, oh, I desperately need more small trees. It was. I don't know. If the we seeds need the are good enough to block. The box a small trees. tree may get me a point or two here if the sun's in the right position. Right. But towards the end of the game, you got all these towering trees that where you're going to be placing is going to be very much primarily based on what you, you know, you're only going to be placing a small tree or a seed if the sun is going to be advantageous yeah. there. I think that's something that makes it, um, I think that's something that makes it very interesting to kind of play with those dynamics. And, and I think one of the other things, too, is, uh, of course, I, I was immediately driven to try and go for that dead center spot, just yeah. the, the allure of getting the highest point value. But... Mm -hmm. In reality, and uh, and you could sort of see uh, in the scoring at the end of the game, uh, just by virtue of Andrew having mulched the most trees mm -hmm. at the end, it didn't matter where those were, where yeah. those came from, one yeah. ring. Uh, the fact that you mulched four versus anybody else's three at best, that that was it. That was yeah. all the difference. And um, and so maybe uh, maybe positioning uh, isn't as vital as it really sort of presents itself to be um, at, at the, I, I mean, as far as, a, as far as being furthest in the center, maybe right. isn't yeah. as crucial. Maybe if the point values on the tokens were uh, more disparate, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. but, uh, but as, it, as it were, I think uh, more so if you're yeah, getting the center isn't getting the golden snitch. Exactly. Right. But if you're getting the center end. and if you're holding the center and you're also getting those outside, you can grab that center at the end, really get that extra 22 yep. points towards the yeah. end. And just leave it the, there. It's hard <laughs> to put the center in shadow and it puts the whole board yeah, in shadow. Yeah, exactly, because you don't necessarily want to put those three trees on the outside, but if somebody's just kind of doing that, because that's basically the only way you can put the center yeah. in shadow. Oh. But the interesting thing that kind of goes back to that exiling is I know I spent at least two turns spending points so that I didn't exile a thing. Mm. So I would yeah. spend like two or three points here yeah. so that I, I, the same I could so do that, space on but I didn't board. need to do that. So those two or three points at the end, that's all I was looking for so was like rematch, two or three points. Know. At the rematch, I'll yeah. just sacrifice that. Yeah. Sacrifice and that cheap Douglas stuff. Douglas Fir gets out of here, and he yeah. just it, he's just out of there. It serves its purpose, and then you're done with it. Right. Totally. And, yeah. And, you know. And and don't get me wrong either. I mean, say if I did ha somehow manage to get a, a fourth mulch, I did have that centerpiece say over over you. Then then there would have been perhaps a difference. But yeah. uh, but if if you just have a you know uh, like I said, just by virtue of you being able to mulch more than anybody else, that's yeah. that's it. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. good though. I, I really like this one. Oh, yeah, that was a yeah. It's definitely yeah. got the the sweet spot of presentation mm -hmm. with flavor. Like all the mechanics make sense. Yeah. From the flavor of the game. Absolutely. And yeah, simplicity of play, but with strategy and challenge it, mm -hmm. it hits all of those marks yeah. now so, now yeah. there is a, there is something to be said that uh that you know every every game you know the sun is going in the same direction you know how many turns you're going to have and so there is there isn't um there isn't that sort of random chaos element that you have mm. with a with certain games so maybe to some degree you will uh, find an optimized uh, playing strategy, right? Point. Well, the the I know that in because I did a little bit of research on this before I came. I know that there's some advanced play rules in yep. here. There's a couple one of advanced play where rules. you actually play four rounds, yep. and one yep. where uh, things can, that are in shadow cannot take action. Yeah, you can so you can neither grow nor plant yes. in, uh, in in a in tree shadow. that has shadow. Yeah. Well, you that, can plant a seed, but if the tree that the seed is coming from is in shadow, it can't act. 
is how I understand it. Yeah. Is that what the rules say, Amanda? It says you cannot plant a seed or grow a tree when that seed or tree is shadowed by another oh, tree. Never mind. So, so plant- there are a couple of ways I can interpret that. One is that um, you can't plant a seed if the tree that you'd be planting it from is in shadow, mm-hmm. or you can't place a seed in a shadowed space. Sounds more like the latter to me. Yeah. You could play it either way, I guess. You could do it yeah. either way. You could do it with both. But there's definitely yeah. stuff in there to kind of make that. But that there's definitely, yeah, there's plenty of games challenge. where there's plenty of games like this where the since this is strictly strategy, you're yeah. not really gonna get the random elements there. You can end up with a lot of different plays because every game it's how do I want to play this time? Yeah. You know, this yeah. is very much in the vein of abstract games where. You know, the, the mechanics are simple, the objectives are clear, and how you choose to play it is completely up to you. It's almost like a chess sort of thing yeah. where it, you're, you're going to find, like, opening gambits. Yep. It's like, oh, you put your trees there? All right, I'm mm-hmm. put my tree here, and we'll see how that, you know, shakes out. And the number of players makes a huge difference, too. An enormous difference. Because and I there, think there's a two-player, there are rules for two-player. Mm-hmm. Um, you had a third tree, car, tree you color? You leave the three darkest green scoring tokens um, that have four leaves printed on them in the box. Okay. You're not going to use the middle uh, scoring. So that center space becomes less of a point space and more of a shadow space. Right. You're yeah. using it to be blocking people. Okay. Um, and when players collect scoring tokens from the middle four leaf space, they take tokens from the three leaf stack instead. Yeah. So it's not quite the big point space. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's interesting. Um, yeah. I, I think uh, was I did check this out on uh, BGG before uh, you know before we end up playing today, and uh, and I did notice at least it seemed like the and and the game's fairly new, so yeah. take take preliminary votes with a grain of salt, but. Uh, there did seem to at least be a um, initial consensus that three players played uh, played best. Mm. Four gets a little congested, mm. and I mean, yes, you can play it with two players, but yeah. you know, it's always nice having company. That's that's the logic there. I have to imagine. Right. Well, that's why you have us along. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, I want to say thank you to everybody who joined us. Yeah. Um, it doesn't look like, unless the counter is not incrementing, it doesn't look like we got any donations. But definitely, we are still looking forward to Extra Life. I'm going to show off the, uh, the cards again. The Extra Life cards again, which I've got on the document camera now. Um, these are the cards that we're going to be doing as a giveaway for Extra Life. They're the super rare exclusive hascon wizards promo cards they're very kindly donated to the store um i believe this is going for like 500 dollars on ebay right now um so yeah donation of 15 dollars it could be yours um and all that they contain (laughs) and yeah we're doing a 15 dollar donation drive on that uh next week I was going to say that next week we're going to play um, Splendor with the expansions, but next week is the Bundle Rumble, and I really want to play Ooh, in that. That's true. Um, if you guys want, I mean, if you guys want to do a stream without me and I'll play <laughs> Bundle Rumble, or I could do my Bundle Rumble build on camera and then you guys can can play Splendor. Bundle Rumble starts half an hour earlier. Yeah, than it starts stream at does. seven o'clock. So for anybody who's not a battleground regular, uh, the Bundle Rumble is a thing that we do whenever a new Magic set comes out. Uh, Wizards produces these large things. They used to be p- called fat packs, and now they're called bundles. Uh, it's ten packs of cards, um, plus like a book of flavor and a spin down things. Excuse me, things like that. Um, so next Friday in Battleground, we're going to be doing a uh, sealed competition using the bundles as your sealed pool. So you build a sealed deck from 10 packs, which can be quite a challenge because you yes. have a lot of different options to go from 10 packs. Uh, and then we all you know, just play a ton of magic. I don't think I've missed a bundle rumble. Or fat pack challenge. In You've a always long time. entered. You didn't play in the last one, but you did build a deck. Yeah, that's true. I didn't play in the last one. You entered. I wasn't it, you feeling built what I stream. built. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I, I might build on stream so you guys can see me build my deck. You might go and live go like play. half an hour early yeah. so that he can build on stream. Uh, and, and then, then we'll Derek, play a game. I'm quite certain, will want to play uh, Splendor. Splendor with the expansions. I think yeah, he's real into that. You guys will probably play like basic games and then maybe I'll have already lost my first round of Magic and I can jump can in with the expansion. Us. Yeah. Um, so that's next week. And then the week after that is the beginning of October. And we've already said spooky. that we're going to do scary games. Scary, spooky, spooky games. games. Uh, so if you have any scary game recommendations, not actually scary. I'm not a horror fan myself, <laughs> but I like horror themed games. Yeah. I know Amanda wants to play some Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Definitely. I want to play, um, what's it called? With the serial murderer in the camp last Friday. Last Friday. I want to play yeah. that because I like hidden information games. Um, I think we could probably play Mysterium again. But. Sure. Oh man, Chat Plays Mysterium was awesome. Chat Gigi Plays Dell Mysterium so was fantastic. Nin that was a Ninja lot of fun. card game, Malcolm. Oh says? yeah. Is that it's a so horror game? No, 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 no. That's uh, <laughs> he's talking about mine. I actually oh, won't oh, be oh, okay. here next week. Uh, oh, to play the Ninja card game. To on play me. the Ninja card game, uh, but uh, maybe after October, you know. That would be not, a lot of fun. It's I would not like spooky themed. Uh, it's, we'll see. We'll see how what production it's at at that point. Right. It has no art at this point, so it will no, just be just, just throw a ninja like wearing a bedsheet. Well, it's, I, it's, no, it's there's a lot of ninjas aren't right. supposed to be seen. But there's other people in it. No. There's other things in it that, <laughs> that need it. So Fine. the art isn't isn't close to. I was trying to give you some flavor. <laughs> I I appreciate it. Uh, the ninjas are actually the things that have been drawn. <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, so if yeah. if after October rolls around, maybe maybe that'll make an that appearance would be there. Fantastic. We can, that would be very I'd be cool. happy to yeah. do that. Um, but I definitely will not be here next week, guaranteed. Okay. <laughs> well, uh, next week we'll have Derek on the stream. Yeah, there you go. So. Even better. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and then October I'll be in and out. I'll be there for. I could be there for any game that's not zombie themed because I just. I am also I just not don't a zombie. appreciate that um, theme. I'm not a zombie person. Like, more power to you if you like them. A, and, and the mechanics, in the, for example, Zombicide. I love the Zombicide mechanics. The concepts uh, behind things. And like what's the it? Massive Darkness yeah. is the zombie Zombicide game, but with um, medieval theme. Mm -hmm. That looks like fun. Uh, but I just can't get past. I, I just. It doesn't connect with me. I don't get that same sense of immersion. For me, it's the eating of the brains. It's mm. a it's a cannibalism thing, and it actually really squicks me. I can't. Yeah, Ugh. can't even think about it. Ugh. Not yeah. okay. But we'll find other creepy games to play. Yeah, we can. Uh, we can definitely. There are plenty movies. of like scary, spooky games out there. You guys there got that Not Alone play. on the docket too. Um, yep, we've talking. got Not Alone. Um, we've also got Murder of Crows. That would be, oh, that would be super quick, quick to play. Um, and delve there's, into a, the there's a Jason Voorhees style game too. There's like a summer camp. Well, game. that's what I was saying. That's last Friday. Friday is that last Friday? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought I, not to be confused. I'll see if somebody with next has Friday. a hockey mask that or I can Friday, wear. Which is, uh, <laughs> which is a solo uh, player. Game. It'll be Mr. Riley. Winks. Steve Riley played hockey. Okay. I'm sure he's got a mask. Um. So I think that's that's the next yeah. like month and a week. Covered. Hey, also, next yeah, you guys can do it during games. October. You could, uh, you could pull out. Um, oh, what what is it? Uh, Fury of Dracula. <gasps> Does do anybody have, have anybody that? Has it? Come on, somebody's got to have Fury sure. of Dracula. Store That's a hard game to, to get a hold of. That is another hidden information game. So that I'm one would be you. very interesting to, to, to watch on. Uh, Fury of Dracula is so uh, if you can you can delve into the uh, Cthulhu well. If, uh, oh yeah. sure. Yeah. Well. I, I would love to play uh, Pandemic Cthulhu. Mm -hmm. Pandemic Cthulhu. <laughs> If you want to go for a different flair, you could always do uh, Cthulhu Wars or, yeah, Cthulhu Wars, Cthulhu right? Wars is one. Yep. yep. We I just got restocked on the uh, Eldritch Horror card game. There's a that whole would be so host much fun of, there's a whole yeah. host of scary games. You know, you guys Blue. may just oh, have man. to yeah. play. We, we could have a night that's like short horror games, like mm -hmm. more casual, like yeah. Gloom and Murder of Crows and stuff like that, that's more quick stuff. We could always do that, or we could do that at the beginning and then do a longer game afterwards. Yeah. Because Murder of yeah. Crows takes very little time, but it's a really cute game. Yeah. So. Cool. So there's a lot of fun things We've that got we'll options. be playing. We tell over a little murder month. story. By and then there's going to be extra life. The and then we'll be into the holiday season, and we'll come up with holiday themed games. We'll try and do like new stuff. Or we'll go back to all the new games that we haven't had a chance to play. I know. Travis wants to play flip ships. 
Oh yes, yeah. that looks fantastic. There's a demo copy on the demo. There's, there's, there's a demo, is a demo copy, copy now. Yeah. When did there's you a do? sealed copy down on the demo wall. It says that I think demo is, on it. Okay, I, it's yeah. on the demo wall. So you guys I'm gonna can, go you guys can really really go crazy and, and you guys are you open can do an advent calendar of games. So <laughs> we are hoping to add a second night of yes. board gaming to the stream as well. So hopefully we can get to all these games that we want to play. <laughs> Anyways. That's for future us to worry about. Yeah. For now, I think Amanda and I are going to get some sleep. I have to be here for a big Magic pre-release tomorrow. Amanda works. Thank you guys so much for joining us again. Yeah, it's no problem. Thanks for having us. It's fantastic having you to play games with. Yeah. yeah. It's a joy. And it's a good Friday night thing. I'm yeah. enjoying it. <laughs> and Thank Malcolm, try to find me at uh, Boston Festival of Indie Games. Look for me. Yes. yes. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> Oh yeah.